Hello again, nice to see you back. In this module, you will learn the importance of managed storage of university records. Although some units will find secure storage space at their office, others will require off-site storage. In this module, you will learn the importance of 1. Managed off-site storage of university records 2. Sending records to off-site storage 3. Recalling records from off-site storage Let's get started. Look familiar? Remember our infamous messy closet from an earlier module? Storing university records in basements or closets might be convenient, but those places often lack physical and environmental security. You might not know who has access to the storage area or forget what information is in those boxes. If the content of the boxes contains personal information, by law, you must protect that information. Additionally, folks could accidentally destroy valuable records because they were not aware of what is in the boxes. Storing records in a closet or basement is not wise. To make matters worse, if you destroy sensitive and personal information yourself, you have no proof of compliance. But even with proper security in place, the persons responsible for the records might leave their position or simply forget about the records. When records are unmanaged, it is easy to lose track of them. Sending university records to UBC's managed storage is recommended because 1. The records are both physically and environmentally secure. 2 and the retention and disposition is managed for you. You might ask, what is UBC Managed Storage? UBC provides fee-for-service managed storage to ensure the security, access, and disposition of university records is done properly. Remember, the Records Management Office at UBC manages and destroys off-site records according to a retention schedule. The RMO will provide you with notification prior to the records being destroyed. You don't have to worry. Okay, here are the steps in the process. Step one, set up an account. Step two, prepare documents for storage. Step three, call for pickup. The first thing you'll need to do is set up an account by contacting your campus records management coordinator. On both campuses, you will receive a setup package. This package contains two documents. The first is an authorized records access application form, and the second is a record storage template. Complete the authorized records access application form and return it to the records management coordinator. This form asks you about access authorization and billing information. Once you have an account, you're ready to go. Next, you will need to gather the documents to be sent off-site and place them in boxes. Make sure you have standard size boxes and only reuse boxes if they are in good shape. No broken handles, please. The Records Management Office's website contains details on where to get the proper boxes. Pack the boxes with the folders upright as if they were in your filing cabinet. Fill your boxes to capacity but do not overstuff them. Never lay folders flat in the box. Don't include hanging folders or binders or any non-record material. Be sure to store records with the same retention period together. For example, don't mix financial records with a seven-year retention with a group of committee meeting minutes. They have different retention periods. When completing the records storage sheet, provide a numbered file list with the following information. One, a brief summary of what's in the box. Two, records date range, from date to date. 3. Date for disposition as per the retention schedule. 4. Box number. Mark the box numbers at the bottom right-hand corner of the short side of the box. When the Records Management Office picks up your boxes, an official UBC Record Storage barcode will be affixed to the box. Contact your Records Management Coordinator if you need help. When the boxes are ready, send your Records Management Coordinator an email to request pickup. Attach the completed record storage sheet to the request email. The Records Management Coordinator will reply with a pickup date and time. Once the boxes are picked up, we label them with barcodes. You will then receive a copy of the record storage list, which includes the barcodes and location codes of those boxes. You should refer to these barcode numbers when requesting retrieval of boxes. Contact your records management coordinator if you need to retrieve boxes. The records management office at the university archives is available to help you with your unit's offsite storage needs. Check the resource section of this course for contact information. Let's recap this module. One, University records require management. 2. Using a closet or basement to store university records is often poor security. 3. Records should be destroyed according to a retention schedule. Let's now do a quick quiz to see what you have learned. 